toilet paper is made from a soft, absorbent material called cellulose. Cellulose is a natural substance found in the cell walls of plants, and it is the most abundant organic polymer on Earth. The first step in making toilet paper is harvesting the raw material. Toilet paper is typically made from trees, although other plants such as bamboo and sugarcane can also be used. Trees are a renewable resource, and the production of toilet paper from trees is generally considered sustainable. However, the environmental impact of the process depends on how the trees are harvested and the pulp is manufactured. Material for toilet paper is typically collected by cutting down trees and stripping the bark off of the logs. The bark of the tree is removed during the process of making toilet paper because it contains several impurities that can affect the quality of the final product. Bark is usually removed from logs using a deep barker, a machine that strips the bark off the logs used by passing them through a series of rotating drums. The bark is then separated from the wood chips and discarded. By removing the bark, the pulp mill can produce a cleaner, higher quality pulp that is more sustainable for making toilet paper. Additionally, removing the bark also helps to prevent any harmful chemicals or resins that are present in the bark from contaminating the pulp. The logs are then transported to a pulp mill, where they are chipped into small pieces and cooked with chemicals, such as caustic soda and sodium sulfide, to break down the cellulose fibers and release the pulp. The resulting pulp is mixed with water to create a slurry, which is passed through a series of screens to remove any remaining bark or other impurities. The resulting pulp is then ready to be used to make toilet paper. Next, the pulp is fed into a machine called an extruder. The extruder mixes the pulp with water and other chemicals to form a slurry. The slurry is then squeezed through a series of small holes or extrusion dies. As the slurry passes through the dies, it is shaped into thin sheets of toilet paper. After the toilet paper sheets are extruded from the machine, they are typically passed through a series of rollers to remove any excess moisture. This is an important step in the manufacturing process because it ensures that the toilet paper will be strong and durable, and will not fall apart when it's used. The rollers may also be heated to help speed up the drying process. The extrusion process is an important part of making toilet paper because it allows the manufacturer to control the thickness, strength, and softness of the final product. The size and shape of the extrusion die, as well as the speed at which the slurry is passed through them, can all be adjusted to produce toilet paper with different characteristics. Additionally, the machine may also be equipped with other features such as a perforating system to create the quilted patterns that are commonly found on toilet paper, or a coating system to apply lotions or other additives to the sheets. After extrusion, the toilet paper rolls are then sent through a series of quality control checks to ensure that they meet the required standards for softness, strength, and absorbency. Any rolls that don't meet the standards are rejected and recycled back into the process. Once the toilet paper has been made, it must pass a series of quality control checks. Manufacturers typically have strict quality control measures in place to ensure that their products meet certain standards. These measures may include testing the strength and softness of the toilet paper, as well as checking for any defects or impurities. For example, manufacturers may use a tensile strength tester to measure the amount of force required to tear a sample of toilet paper. This helps to ensure that the toilet paper will be strong enough to withstand normal use without tearing or falling apart. Manufacturers may also use a softness tester to measure the tactile sensation of the toilet paper on the skin. This can help them to produce toilet paper that is soft and comfortable to use. In addition to these physical tests, manufacturers may perform chemical and microbial analysis to check for contaminants or other impurities. This helps to ensure that the toilet paper is safe and hygienic to use. Overall, these quality control measures are an important part of the manufacturing process and help to ensure that consumers receive a high-quality product that meets their expectations. 
Once it has passed the quality control checks, it is packaged and shipped to warehouses and stores, where it is sold to consumers.